It is 10 o'clock local here in Des Moines, 11 o'clock out east, and we still have zero precincts reporting. We've just gotten a statement in from the Iowa Democratic Party. I'm going to read you this statement. We're going to have our political director, Rick Klein, break it down for us on the other end of this. Here's what it reads. The integrity of the results is paramount. We have experienced a delay in the results due to quality checks and the fact that the IDP is reporting out three data sets for the first time. That's the Iowa Democratic Party. What we know right now is that around 25 percent of precincts have reported and early data indicates turnout is on pace for 2016. That's from the Iowa Democratic Party Communications Director, Mandy McClure. So, so, so sort of two pieces of, of interesting information here, Rick. The first, it's on pace for 2016, which, which uh, it wasn't a record turnout. Right. That tells me it's but, not a record. But, That's but right. Do we know how many in 2016 what the numbers were? Were they more than 200,000? Is this the pop quiz? Okay. Is, this, is this stuff, Rick? You know, <laughs> this, I got, I got usually it. it's hard to stump you. We'll get yeah, you, we'll get yeah, you those yeah. numbers. They didn't get close to yeah. the, the number big, that Big research. Get yeah. us that number. We'll, we'll, All right. we'll get you that. It was a big year. <laughs> yeah. But you remember there were only two candidates in the ballot. Right. And, and remember that Donald Trump is the guy that they're running against. And so they remember that there's a lot of Democrats in the state are very excited about uh, all of this candidates. We heard about this record field that the Democrats had. So 2016 level excitement, that's fine for the Democrats, but that is not going to light people's uh, seats on fire about the future of Iowa uh, uh, as a potential battleground state. Uh, but I think the more interesting piece of this information is this acknowledgement that there are significant problems here. We've been told now for about two hours that numbers are about to roll in. Uh, this is something is seriously off about this vote count. And um, I know that there are people that want to throw around a lot of irresponsible terms about rigged, around hacking. We don't know any of that at this stage. What we can say confidently is that there are massive technical issues that are delaying the vote count right, right now in Iowa. Uh, and it is 100 percent better for this to get be right rather than to be fast, but this is going to be a massive black mark on this event if uh, we significantly delay a winner because of technical issues. Given the skepticism out there around the electoral process, given the focus on Iowa, given all of the changes that were put in and the reforms that were put in, this is going to be a real problem for the Democrats, uh, and, and we're still waiting. Now, it's uh, as you said, we're hours into this process. To not have anything in is astounding. There, there is somewhat of a fail-safe with, with the paper ballots. Yes. There, there, there will be a paper trail tonight, but to count, if we're talking about hundreds of thousands of ballots will we'll, we'll take a long time. We don't know the extent of the technical difficulties, correct? And we don't know exactly what went wrong at this point? That's right. And, and according to the statement, uh, it would appear that one of the problems is that one of the choke point of information that is coming into headquarters. Remember, this is a party run event. This is not the state of uh, the state of Iowa that's putting this on. That's a critical thing to know about caucuses. Uh, so it's whatever in infrastructure you build. Now, they went out and they purchased software for an app. They built a, a new app from scratch. Intriguingly, Tom, they have haven't told anyone who built the app because they were worried about potential hacking. They were worried that people would target it or that company would be targeted in some way. So they have shrouded this app in some degree of secrecy. There were scattered reports earlier in the day about problems that precinct chairs were having with the app. We checked around on that. We were told, don't worry about it. We got it under control. And we have, we always have landline phones in the end. But let me tell you, if there's a massive failure, 1,600 precincts calling in at the same time, you know, imagine the hold music you're going you're gonna to have if you're, if you're calling in a result on a landline from a rural part of the state waiting to tell the party what just happened. Mike, you're Iowa guru, and I know you've, you've been cautioning us all night because um, you sort of know a little bit more about the logistics than, than we do because this is your home state. But if explain something to me. If turnout is on pace for 2016, four years ago, I'm being told by, by big research, ABC News big research, we had 90% of the vote at this point. Yeah. Um, so so what's going on? Do you think this technical glitch is, is, is a big deal? So I mean, I trust what the party is saying now. Kind of what's happening right now is they intake results is you have precinct, you have the temporary chairs or, or precinct chairs that have out at these precinct sites taking in the results, running the actual caucus. They're going to be calling in to the Iowa Democratic Party those results right now. So yes, there could be some hold music, but there's a there's a big phone bank uh, happening somewhere in this building right now to do that intake. So hopefully we'll have some things soon. Right. And there's a lot more data oh. coming in than four years ago. Yep. Three different metrics, did more they, candidates. Did they bite off more than they could chew? Is, is that what we're seeing tonight with, with putting out more results or it, would, it wouldn't have affected it either way? I, I don't know that it would have affected it, yeah. but one of the numbers, and I forget what it was earlier, um, 280 some new registrants at a caucus site. Right. That stuff starts to snowball. That means every one of those people had to wait in line to go fill out a voter registration form to either switch parties or become a new voter. And explain, uh, in Iowa, you can do that on you can caucus do that day. day. Up. Yeah. They have, so, you know, that delays things maybe at that caucus site, then you have uh, a delay in a result getting in. It just kind of snowballs. So, again, we're still relatively early here, still 10 ish central time, um, but we're going to need to see some numbers here pretty soon.